The Stop Drop Gaming F1 show is brought to you by Stop Drop Gaming's F1 2014 Sunday Night Leagues for Xbox 360 and soon F1 2015 on Xbox One. Visit StopDropGaming.com today to sign up. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, you join us for the Stop Drop Gaming Forum F1 show. Um, I'm your host Ollie and with us tonight we have Callum. Hello Callum. Hello. We have uh, EJ. Hi EJ. Hi, hi. Uh, Neil. Hello, Neil. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. He's a new guest tonight, a special guest. Yeah, and special. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, Steve as well. Good evening. Hello. Uh, so, uh, this weekend saw a very um, entertaining uh, Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, the first subject for discussion is the, um, the big cock up by Mercedes on bringing Hamilton in. Um, for a pit stop after an actual Stappen crashed. Um, what were your thoughts about this, Callum? Well, it was slightly humiliating, really. The second pit stop strategy error of the season. And in a way, you have to feel for Lewis Hamilton, whether you're a fan of him or not, because it was it was kind of disgraceful in a way that they did what they did. You can understand why they pitted him, because you would have done. But to, get, to be three and a half seconds wrong in your calculations is pretty bad, especially for a team like Mercedes. Absolutely. Um, as you say, I'm not a Hamilton fan in the slightest, but I did feel for him uh, a lot in the race because, you know, he wanted, he was he was far and away the fastest. I think he even said in one of his interviews that he was, during the, the race, he was thinking about Ayrton Senna um, and how Ayrton Senna was, um, you know, ridiculous um, at a time ahead of um, P2 and he crashed, so he was, he was conscious of that in his head. Um, in a way, it was. It, this was a similar mistake. In a way, it was. Yeah. How did you? How did you feel about it, EJ? I think it wasn't bad. I, so I have to agree with Callum. The Mercedes just fucked up big time. Uh, the cynic in me almost uh, almost thinks that um, maybe Mercedes did it on purpose so they could um, so Nico Rosberg could match the three wins of Ayrton Senna. What's your thoughts on that, Steve? Am I being too oh. cynical? Uh, it's a controversial statement to make there, my friend. A very controversial statement. Um, I, I would be lying if I said the same thought hadn't crossed my mind. Um, usual thing when a safety car comes out, first thing that goes across your mind is, do I need, can I get a set of fresh tyres? Everyone going to do it. Um, I have to believe that they say Hamilton made the call to start with. Were I in his shoes, I'd probably do the same. Guys, do I want new, new tyres or not? Well, that's probably as far as it goes. Um, Colossal cock up from Mercedes. I mean, the amount of information they've got on that pit wall uh, to get it so badly wrong. And the thing is, is they must have known because they didn't pit Rosberg. So they must have realised the moment they did it. Hang on a minute, this isn't quite right. So, yeah. So I mean, why didn't they shout um, to not pit for him? You know, it's it's very difficult, very very difficult uh, subject. Obviously, being a a Lewis fan myself, it's it's a difficult pill to swallow. And uh, I thank everyone, even if you're not a Hamilton fan, for um, accepting the fact that he did drive a brilliant race. He said he could have gone much faster. He chose not to to preserve the car, and it cost him at the end. It it really did. Um, one hopes that he, when he bounces back in the next race, he will just obliterate the field. Well, that's my hope, at least, anyway. Um, I mean, the the most stupid thing about the whole situation was that at the beginning of the race, they said the soft tyres could do the entire race. No worries whatsoever. He was on the soft tyres. He had no reason to pit. He could have done that race, you know, without having to make any sort of tyre. You know, it's, you know not like, you... it's not like the tyres were having issues. None of the tyres had issues. There was no you... reason to bring him in. He could have done that whole race on that same set of tyres. Well, there was a reason to bring him in. The reason to bring him in was is the temperature in the tyres had dipped sufficiently that they thought it wouldn't have enough grip and they'd slide off the road. The reason for moving to the super softs was to get that instant grip because they had enough laps to complete the race. That's where it. That's where the decision originated from. Um, I think both Rosberg and Vettel um, alluded to the fact that the, the first two or three laps uh, after the safety car were, were tricky. They could have slid off. 